just recently first announced that they will be getting rid of Ford Field and Minute Maid Park closing ceremonies at Worlds. Instead, closing ceremonies will take place in the convention center where each program has its own unique closing ceremony. This will allow events on Saturday to earn end earlier, giving teams time, more time to travel, home, or sightsee. What do you guys think of these changes? Uh, I, yeah, I think it really sucks that um, they take taken out the Ford Field because uh, I, it really adds to the experience of the World Championship. I think it was a big part of that whole experience. But even with that, um, it does give teams a chance to, you know, side C, have more time to travel home, especially for the teams that were coming from, like, cross C in other countries. So, yeah, P pros and cons to that. Yeah, I would add on to that, like, um, it, it kind of, like, really hit, like, when you tell people about worlds and robotics, it kind of hits, like, people kind of understand how big it is when you tell them, like, we're playing on Ford Field, you know, like, where the, like, Detroit Lions play. And, you know, I mean, not having that, like, big opportunity anymore is kind of disappointing, but, you know, it is kind of understandable with, like, costs, you know, it, like, just how much it must cost to do this every single year. Prefers so yeah. I mean, in yeah. addition to the uh, the costs and everything, registration hasn't changed. So, <laughs> oh yeah, this hasn't yeah. hasn't passed yeah. on to us. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I totally agree with with the the whole um, going to like Ford Field and Minute Maid was definitely like a whole vibe, uh, and I'm mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna miss that for for this this year. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I found sort of interesting about this is when they said they were going to replace it, they were going to replace it with the convention center, and they were going to have each program do their award ceremony and finals matches at the same times. And the first thing I thought of was, wait, I'm not going to be able to watch Einstein and Da Vinci Field because they're going to have FTC, FRC, and FLL all completely separate, doing their own thing. There's going to be some crossover streaming, is what I've heard, but who knows what that's really going to entail. So like, it feels like first is trying to split up the different programs and make them more individualized. So make it a championship an FTC championship an FRC championship an FLL championship instead of a first championship. Yeah. I think like, so they, they say that it's happening for all programs at the same time, which I think if, I think even if it was like staggered some, so you could, especially with in between FTC and FRC to be able to see all of the matches I think that's something that a lot of people are going to definitely miss out on because just because you're in one program doesn't mean you don't care about what happens in the other ones. Yeah, and then also another thing to note is uh, because they're going to be having the award ceremony at um, the end, uh, they're not going to give Inspire off in a separate ceremony like they do currently where you find out you're a finalist and then you wait in suspense for another um six hours until Ford Field. They'll just be giving Inspire right then and there. Um, and so there's no buildup. Like, you get immediately shocked with becoming a finalist for Inspire, and then you could win Inspire. So that's another change that I think uh, could affect it. I know, like, especially in FRC, like, the Dome-style championship was a big thing, and it slowly faded away. It feels like first is sort of moving into, like, this place where they want it to be a little bit cheaper and a little bit just more user friendly without the travel to Ford Field and stuff like that. Well, let me ask you guys a question here. Well, two things. One, maybe a little bit of insider info here. First, actually loses money on championships. Uh, so something to add for that that I don't know if a lot of people know. I know the registration costs are excessive, especially uh, if you're an FRC. It becomes a lot, lot more uh, for things. So uh, something to, to ask with that is, uh, Looking at championships, would you be willing to pay more to keep it how it was? Or is there a different way that we could change it that might add more? Could we even, like, for example, uh, go how VEX runs, for example, where they have FTC has literally its own championship for things. And then so, like, FTC is there for a few days. Everybody in FTC runs through one championship and then that gets done, and then we then you run the FRC championship right after that. But each program gets its own championship, and then there's one championship. What are your guys' thoughts on that? Well, I first... Say, oh, sorry. Go ahead. I guess what I'll say about that is an increase in registration costs could make it even more prohibitive for teams to go. 
Um, Two thousand dollars is already a significant portion of our budget, even as a fairly well-funded team. So we will have to do a significant amount of fundraising to pay for it in its current state. If it was even more expensive, it would be even harder. Yeah, think... one of the also with like the the splitting up. I think one of the best things about World Festival is all of the teams from different age levels and different programs that are all there together. But then also, I think one of the coolest parts about that was Minute Maid when really at the end, everyone came together for the finals. So I I can definitely see why if that, getting rid of that, that could lead to just getting rid of um, championships, like all being together in general. Is that confirmed that uh, FTC finals and FRC finals won't be together? Well, they have said in the email that at 1 p.m., the award ceremony and the final matches for FTC, FLL, and FRC will be starting. And so if they're all starting at the same time, it seems like they want to split it up because I don't think they're going to have one place in the convention center where they can fit FTC, FLL, FRC without doing a major overhaul of like some sort of pits or something like that. It's not fully confirmed, but I think it would be something that if they could get everybody together in one place in the convention center, then great. I'm perfectly on board with this. This is probably one of the best things that first has done because now you don't have that huge gap in travel. You don't have that huge, um, getting the robots to minute made and Ford field was a pain for FTC teams. Um, and it probably saves costs. So you're still keeping like the championship feel because you have all the teams together. Um, but you save costs, and I think it would be a better experience. Yeah. I mean, if, if I'm first, that, that makes sense to me, is, is, in order, is to bring it all together. Like, somehow just build one field with a bunch of seating around it or something like that. But, uh, I mean, I don't know about you guys in FTC, but for FRC, uh, especially at Detroit, seating was terrible for round-robin rounds. Like, if you weren't, you know, a yeah. few hundred people, you weren't seeing it, you were just looking at the screens. Um, but for oh, FTC, yeah, yeah. you guys – your finals, I mean, the seating, you guys get plush, uh, nice fold-down <laughs> chairs and stuff, right? So that's not too bad. Yeah, yeah we, we did get fold-down chairs. Um, the seating is hard always in FTC because of the fact that, like, it's such a small field. So regardless of where you are, if you're in a stadium venue, you're going to be looking at the screens. Um, but I think that, yeah, if they could figure out a way, even in Detroit, they could even break the wall down between FRC and FTC and fit everybody there. Just extend some seating down and make it all one venue. Um, but it it's definitely that first something that first needs to take in mind, and we don't have all the details for. Yeah. All right. Any yeah. other thoughts about this topic? I mean, it's something big. It's something recent. I we don't have much details, but. Um, any other things that came to mind when you read this email first? Uh, one thing I was thinking of is like, you know, this just kind of follows in suit of like regionals getting removed and like first is just kind of cutting costs in general on like, you know, get, limiting a whole event so that they don't have to like, or like four events they don't have to pay for anymore. And now like taking out Ford Field and then it made and stuff like that. It seems like they're trying to cut down how much they have to spend like per season and they're making like small moves just to gradually like lower costs. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, Super Regionals was the way that teams advanced to the World Championship uh, two years ago, three years ago maybe. I don't remember. Relic Recovery was the last time. Um, yeah. And so those four four. Those were big championships. They were 72 teams each, um, and they were in pretty nice venues, um, at least for East it was. And so those were four championships that were gone. So now it's going straight from your state championship to Worlds, and now it seems like they're cutting down a little bit on Worlds. Um, I'm happy that they haven't increased the costs for registration from last year because they could have easily done that. Um, and I know the $2,000 is pretty hefty for FTC teams considering the average FTC team's budget is around $5,000 maximum. So um, it is definitely something that could be helping. Guys, I just want to jump, jump in one more thing and something that I don't know how many of you have looked at because it's not the most exciting thing in the world. But first financial report that they have, the 2019 first annual impact report states that first in cash and cash equivalents as of June 30th, 2019, has $27 million in change in cash on hand. 
for things. So should first be looking at allocating that differently? Or like you, you keep talking about they're looking to save money, but it looks like they have a lot of money. And they increased by $3 million from the year before. <laughs> That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm not familiar with that, but I would like to say if they continue to do budget cuts similar to the regionals and now the Ford Field cuts, I'd like to see that like be paid off in other places. So maybe increased quality in, I don't know, the state championships or something like that, just to see the, the change being paid off in some way. I mean, it feels like first, like, Look at Vex Worlds. They have the most insane, like, watch experience ever. They have literally next year's field falling from the sky at the end. So then you get to see what your game is going to be. They have all these spa- some special effects. And we got close with that with Ford Field, I thought. I thought Ford Field was okay for FTC. Um, I mean, it did a good job putting attention on... Uh, the FTC robots, and it brought the FTC robots in front of the FRC kids, which was something that I think was pretty important. Um, but now, with that got done, not a big venue, uh, it feels like we're just getting a little bit of the short end of the stick. Thanks for watching. If you want more fun content, be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos. You can also directly help support fun by visiting our Patreon at patreon.com forward slash first updates now or by subscribing at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch keeping fun loud, live, and independent.